Here it goes. I think I am going to grab those blue chickens. Just quick, give them to everybody. Here it goes. And the land geek. Who we got here? This is the man geek. himself, Hi. Mark Podolsky. Mark, this has been a wonderful event. This is day one. I have to tell you, day one has been so special. The energy in the room oh, is phenomenal. There. There's not one person that I've met at this boot camp that I personally wouldn't have a drink with. And I have to tell you, Matt Ford, if you're watching, cheers to you. Cheers my to friend, Matt Ford. Drinking scotch. Nice. Right. Matt, where are you? By the way, let's come to Orlando. All right, good. We'll be here for Orlando. Mark, let me ask you, if you couldn't make it to this boot camp, when, when, when can we see you again? When can we meet you live? Okay, so come to the Orlando boot camp. Go to landgeek.com forward slash boot camp. It's in October. Let's see, it's October 20 something? Yeah. We're going to be in Orlando. Nice. By the way, uh, just a little plug here for my friend who's taking pictures. Wes, jump in here. Wes, Wes, Japer, come on Schaefer. in. Wait, everybody, one, two, three. Hey, I get a ticket. I get a ticket. I get, ticket. I get three tickets. <laughs> the sales whisperer is here. Oh, that's hey! okay, hey! By, the way, by the way, a total sales whisperer tease. I thought, oh, you know, Sunday, one of the sales modules we do, it's great. It takes the pressure off me. Yeah, sure. We have a professional sales trainer, Wes, but of course he has to leave tomorrow. So hopefully if everyone puts a comment in, <laughs> like Sales Whisperer or Wes, leave a comment. If we get 50 comments, we want the Sales Whisperer. Then he's then gotta stay. He can't I will leave. fly out west to Orlando. <laughs> nice. Oh, to Orlando. Oh, 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 50. 50, 50, yeah, 50, 50 comments. 50 comments. Well, they all have to say shh. Got 50 or Wes I, or I have 50 kids. This is a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in Orlando. 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 All right. Cheers. Awesome. So, yeah, the, the event's been great. The energy's been great. Everyone in the room is fantastic and learning a lot. What's one thing? i got to ask you. I want a question. What, if I'm brand new to land investing. What's one thing you want me to know? I'm brand new. I've never done it. What's, is there one thing that you would tell me, a, a piece of advice? I mean, of course, read Dirt Rich if you want to get all the good advice. Right. But right now, I'm, I'm, new to, I'm new to land investing. I come here. What, what, anything. Any word, words? I, I, I would say, like, my... My main advice that I always tell people is if you know, and my example even mentioned it, if you met a friend and they said to you, hey, um, I'm making over $50,000 a month doing X, right? Wouldn't you ask them, well, can you teach me how to do what you're doing? I would say get a mentor who's already done, it's already been doing what you want to do, smart cut it, and I'd say that's the first piece of advice yeah. is learn from other people's success. Don't make the same mistakes that I did when I first started out and go up Mount Everest without a Sherpa. So I'd say get a Sherpa, number one. After that, I, I would say that, you know, you really just need to take massive action on what you learn and take it one bite at a time like you can help it. And next thing you know, you will have more passive income without renters, rehabs, renovations, or rodents in a massive niche with absolutely no competition. Because let's say you go to a real meeting, right? A real estate investment association meeting. 100 people in that room, 99 of them are house flippers, wholesalers, or landlords. You and I would go and get a land paper. There's billions of acres. There's no one doing it. Great passive income that exceeds your fixed expenses work because you want to, not because you have to. And I think it's worth the journey and worth taking that leap. So that's my Cheers advice. to that. Cheers. Cheers. Final question. What happens after you reach the point where you have 
this fixed, uh, you know, the, the passive income, the TV fixed expenses. You open up ocean dividends. You have more time in your life. What's your life for you? What do you? What do you? How do you fill your days? What? What? What moves you next? Like so, yeah, I'm working on the second book, uh, The Secret of Enough. I mean, for me, what's really gratifying is watching like a guy like Scott. Let's pick on Scott. Pick on. Uh, let's pick when on. I met Scott at boot camp, he was, you know, really interested in taking this to the next level. I met his wife, and then how many? How long did it take? Until so that, you're passing even exceeded. exceeded. You, uh, so I think uh, at, at about two, 20 months, I think. So in 20 months, you know, a guy like Scott's telling me, hey, Mark, you've changed my life. And for me, that's my why. I want to be that pebble in the pond. I want the effect of this niche to ripple out and help people like Scott and Mike get out of what I call solo economic dependency, which means if you know, Scott wasn't working, he wasn't making any money, and now he can spend more time with his beautiful wife, his beautiful children, and do what he really wants to do in life. And now he's giving back to our community. So for me, I would say it's just giving more, serving more, <laughs> doing more to help others, and enjoying that journey. That's and I awesome. really feel like I can die in peace doing that. Well, I, I, I have to say, I think I speak for many people in here that uh, you, you've been a gift to many of us. And uh, I couldn't have done it without you. I couldn't have done it with Scott Dodd. I couldn't have done it without the community. This community is phenomenal. I mean, you surround yourself with like-minded people. And I was just talking to somebody about it a little bit earlier. They were like, they're a coaching students, and they're, they're feeling a little bit of pressure. Maybe they're not doing as well as other people. But you know what? Everybody's on their own journey. And when you feel other people succeeding, that pushes you forward. No, absolutely. I mean, we're the average of the five people we hang out with the most. You might as well. Where's the other right. two? That's our team, right? So, Eric Houston, and that's the great thing about our community, is everyone's so, has such an abundance mentality. No one's holding back information and holding back any kind of secrets. Like, everyone wants everyone to succeed because we all know there's enough for everyone. I'll say, you're not a pebble in the pond. You're a, you're a boulder you in the ocean. Boulder. You are a amazing. boulder. You're amazing. Amazing. Seriously. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys. Big splash. Thanks for bringing us to Scottsdale. It's only like 119. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, the, the, very the, cool out today. The we rates had, are amazing. The rates are amazing. We had Scottsdale's version of a blizzard, a sandstorm. Yeah, that was exciting. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> Not at all. It's really good time. first. We ate well. We ate well. We ate well. Oh, homo? Homo pizza. Homo. Pizza. Pizza and beer. Save me a trip to Italy. Save me a trip to Italy. Mark, thank you so much. Cheers. Guys, thanks so much for having me on Nike. Onward and upward. Onward and upward. Here we grow. Here we grow. Thanks, everybody. Thank Hope you. See you at the next boot camp. Be there. Be there. All right. All right. Awesome. We, got, we got more special guests to come. We got someone rolling in right um, now. Who's this rolling in? Who is this? The Big Papa. Big Papa. Uh, <laughs> hello, buddy. How are you guys? It's Good, Tate Litchfield. Tate Litchfield. What's going on, my man? Maryland Geek Now they're Now they're boot camp. I'm yeah, exhausted, right? Mike. Yeah. Nice. Stay one, man. You got two more to go. Well, the reason I'm exhausted is it was so intense in the VIP room. Okay. Like, people needed to be carried out on the <laughs> Like, Josh, like, I, I got done with, Scott and I finished today, and I was like, how was it? And they were like, we need a net. Right. We need a net. Yes. Can you give us a teaser? What? No. What's the VIP room? What's the VIP? Nothing. 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 Tom, he's going dark on us. You're dark. <laughs> You're next time. Mark was just talking about how transparent we are. Oh, yeah. Not, Mark is, but I'm not. <laughs> no, no, no. VIP, we basically take land investing in each boot camp. We dive in and we focus on how to become better at certain aspects of the business. And so we're working on specific, you know, areas within the business, problem solving, and we're doing it as a collective. So we become the smartest group of land investors in the entire world for the weekend. So if that doesn't get you there, I'm more, for more than the weekend. Yeah. Listen, we want to ask you the same question we asked, uh -oh. Mark. I'm brand new to land investing. I'm coming to this. I'm ready to take the leap. What's one piece of advice for me, Jay? What would you tell me? Based on what you know, give me one piece, one kernel. What, what would it be? No pressure, but you got to answer. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 
it all starts with the right county. Okay. If you don't pick the right county, this business, let me preface by saying the business model works everywhere. Okay. It really does. Yes. But if you don't start with the right county, who's this? Oh my who's this? Word. Damien Lupo. <laughs> the most interesting man in the world. Damien, where are Take you a walking? good look because Damien is going to hang out with the Silverback Gorillas. We may not see him again. Take a good Wanda, look. Yeah. If he can get out of here, it's flight can as well. Another play. sandstorm, another New England blizzard, or Scottsdale's version of the blizzard. It's New England. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Damien, we wish you luck and safe journey. When, when do you take off? Yeah, three hours. Three hours. Really, not even nervous. If I was going to hang out with a bunch of apes, I'd be a little nervous. <laughs> Nothing. No cop. Wait, isn't that? <laughs> You're doing that it now. Your day dude. job. I thought that no, was your day <laughs> job. <laughs> doing it right now. <laughs> so I, I guess. All right. See you, Damien. See ya. Damien, you're leaving. Damien Lupo, QRP. Howdy. Howdy. Yeah, 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 QRP. Yeah. Yes. Go check. Yeah, that would be my second tip. Go talk to that guy right there. Right, right, right. But it all starts with the right county. If you don't pick the right county, you're going to spin your wheels. You got to start. And follow the recipe. If you don't know what the recipe is, maybe you guys can ask Scott Top. But it, it, it starts at the beginning. If you get that wrong, it'll be a lot harder than it needs to be. Yeah, there's five plates, right? That's plate one. That's a, I always call that the basics before the basics. That's the free basics. This is like the stick holding the plate up. Yes. If you don't pick, if you don't have a drumstick or whatever it is, <laughs> it ain't spinning, right? Awesome. The beauty of it is, though, uh, what we teach you. Here in Land Geek, is that if you do choose the wrong one, which you're so not going to be if you're with me, you're not picking the wrong one. Right. Uh, with the mentor with Master Yoda here, <laughs> you will not. But some people, it yeah. happens. Uh, so you you pick yourself back up again, right? Like by your own boot, by land. your own bootstraps. And by your own bootstrap. Pick yourself back up again. You do it over again. The equation works, but like you said, you got to find. Uh, sometimes it takes some. I always say some action is better than no action. If you take yeah, the action, yeah. you can correct from it. If you, take, if you sit I back mean, and you think through, about it, what's going to happen? I burned through maybe half a dozen counties when I was first getting started until I found the one that clicked. Yeah. And so I think, yes, you're going to pick some bad counties. You might not start in the right area. But that's okay as long as you understand why. Right. right, if you learn from it and you don't get frustrated or quit or, or let it get you down, as long as you can make it, you know, treat it as a, an educational opportunity, it wasn't what yeah, right? you know now. Yeah. I'm looking at, I think what you said is consistency. I always tell people not every mailing is going to knock it out of the pot, but the Most consistent yeah. mailing process is going to bring deal flow. And my favorite quote deal flow solves everything. Does, you got to get deal flow. flow. Yeah. The only way to get that, mail. You got to be licking those envelopes and stamping them. Yeah. Tate, thanks so always. awesome having you I here. Appreciate it. Great Love seeing it. you. Awesome. Maybe I'll get another invite if that's what people want. <laughs> well, the people sure. want that. Yeah, because these guys. Know. <laughs> <laughs> thank I you think, guys. I think your show has Tate. brought us Coming the most points. So thank you guys. Thank you everyone. <laughs> Who's next on the big chair? Who's coming in? Eric, now no longer known as Juttnut, but the technician, the technician. Peterson. <laughs> My yes. fellow Cubs fan. Cubs win today. Comes win. Yes, they awesome. did. Eric's a little so hyper for my liking. Game. He's yeah. very exciting and hyper usually. Is it going to calm down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring him down a little bit. What's that, what's that animal we always use? It's, it's, it's called a sloth. A sloth. You're so it's mean. Sloth. There we go. What is it? <laughs> no, Eric, how's it going? How's boot camp? It's been awesome. Yeah? For yeah. well, those of you who don't know, Eric is one of our coaches also in the lane. Yeah, an expert at automation, uh, you know, uh, Zapier, we, you know, just name it, right? Well, what's your trade? Before you were investing in land, what, what was your profession? What was your, you know, what did you do before this? Graphic design. Graphic design. Awesome. you feel that had, had any kind of positive influence? Or how would you say that impacted you in the land business? Well, I think there's, there's kind of two aspects to it. So, I think my personality, so kind of at the bottom of who I am, like I always want to do things right. So in design, you know, there's a certain sense of, I don't want to say perfection, but things have their place. Right. So for me, the website, the marketing, kind of the, the digital base on the land I'm selling became very important. I don't think that... Um, 
would never go out and, and recommend that anybody build the kind of website I built or anything like that. What is the website? I want these people want to take a look at it. What is it? What's your website? So it's landopia.com. Landopia, L A N D O P I A dot com. Landopia.com. Check Great it out. Website. So, but just don't mail those areas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to ask you the same question that we asked everybody else. Oh, we were just asking everybody, uh, Eric, what would be your number one piece of advice for a beginner in land investing? Just getting ready to jump on the journey. Or, or they just bought the toolkit and they haven't cracked it yet. Yeah. Number one piece of advice. What do you think? So I think the biggest thing is consistency. Finding um, a time of day or certain amount of hours that you're going to put towards this business every week and as you continue to kind of make steps forward you know you're going to have mailing and marketing and being consistent with those, um, getting your ads out every day just no matter what and that i mean same kind of thing i talk about with my coaches you've got to put in the effort every day because if you don't you're not going to have results yeah. So consistency. And when you really think about it, the tasks you have to perform, if you don't overcomplicate them in your head, they're actually quite easy. They're very simple. You schedule them out. Yeah. You do mailing for this long. You do marketing for this long. Don't overcomplicate Focus it. Focus on Keep the basics. Keep it simple. Yeah. Focus yeah. on the basics. And that's what you do to start this business. That's yeah. what I did. That's what you did. That's what you did. Consistency. Yeah. What's the biggest thing, the final question, the biggest thing that moved your business forward? You so you got involved after you're rolling. You're rolling and you're, you're doing well. Proof of concept, I tell people, right? First thing you got to do is do a deal, get proof of concept. You got that. You're rolling through. You're chugging along. What what propelled you forward? And what made the, what was there a what moment, what time, anything that kind of changed it for you? Um, I think early on, so it was probably just bringing in VAs to do the things I didn't so, you know, early on there was due diligence and was making maps, doing stuff like that and training them to do it the way I wanted it done. Um, and later it turned into, you know, all the marketing stuff, all my Craigslist posts and all that. And if, if those things were not outsourced, I, I wouldn't probably be here today still working on this business. I'd be so tired of it. Yeah, awesome. So, well, thank you for joining us. Cheers. 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 Eric. Eric Peterson. If you want to see him next time, you can see him live is in Orlando. It's two months away. Not far. I love this time of year because I, because it's, I see that there's a little bit yeah, of a gap between the last one and this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where they start rolling real quick. Well, then there'll be a little gap between January, but this these yeah. two are my favorite, you know? Orlando. So, if you want to see this guy live, you want to ask him to pick his brain, Orlando. Go to Landopia, just don't mail his areas. <laughs> don't worry, there's plenty of land. I'm just kidding. Mail his areas. I do. <laughs> if you guys want to know more about boot camp, you should uh, explore the, the Land Geek website or they can talk to us. Mike, where are, you, where are they going to talk to us? Info at Land Geek, uh, info at at Land Geek guys guys dot com. Or, or, or you can schedule calls. Landgeek.com forward slash training. Landgeek.com forward Who's next on the big seat? Our newest coach, Mimi Here she is, Mimi's here. Mimi's here. Mimi's here. Mimi's here. High five. Woo! What's up, Mimi? Mimi. Mimi. Enjoy myself. Cheers. Cheers. How's boot camp going? I love boot camp. It's boot camp number eight. Oh, my gosh. That's insane. <laughs> that's I awesome. Yes. Why do you keep coming back to boot camp? Why, why? keep coming? Why eight? Well, it's multiple things, right? The network. I've got great VAs through my network. Great tips. Um, and great accountability groups that I've built through the network. And then, um, additionally, it takes me away from my full-time job so I can focus just on the business, right? Awesome. And you know what I notice when I come, I absorb the things that apply to what I'm doing right now. And you know, some things that are more advanced, they just go over my head. So three months later, when I built my yes. business more. Yeah, what a great point that is. But I always tell you, no matter where you are in this business, no matter where you are, you will have an insight. So That's it's like, it. wherever you are, because you know you have to... It's like learning the fundamentals. And once you get those, you don't have to worry about walking anymore. You can worry about other things. Yeah, that's it. You can learn these things so that you may have overseen earlier. Exactly. The things hit me differently and, and stick. Well, we, we do need to say at this camp, you're here in, in an 
new capacity because Mimi is one of our newest coaches. Yes. And she's killing it and she just quit her job. I and that's got to be really I exciting. Did. I am so happy. My life is. The lighter? I have no problems now. I mean, yeah. my biggest problem is my son is leaving for college, right? Oh, that's a sad moment. I, just, I feel your pain there. Right. But I, I, the pain that I felt with my commute and dealing with all the drama of like, the people I was managing and all, right. all that everybody else's stuff. It's gotta be a yeah, now I can focus on my family and my business. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, we have the one question for her that we've been asking everybody yeah. tonight. So we've been asking everybody what is the one piece of advice you would give a beginning land investor, whether they just found Mark on a podcast or they got the investor toolkit, they haven't cracked it open yet. The most important piece of advice you What's can give them. Like, Mimi, tell us. I'm brand new, Mimi. What do I need to know? What I'm finding is, is the model works. Everybody questions, is it the model? Does it work? I'm so scared of these apprehensions. The model works. Don't question the model. What you've got to do is, can you commit to two to three years of your life growing the business? Because I see so many people, for instance, if they get to 18 months and they put a period on it instead of a semicolon. Right? Nice. Two, three years. Commit semicolon, not period. To it. Like it. You have to stick to it. The semicolon clause. That's I it. like it. That's Cheers yeah, to like that. It Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. That is Thanks awesome. Wait, wait, wait you show. take it off? She's I leaving. Know. Look at her. She's going. <laughs> just like that. And then I'm out. I look how low my wine is. Yo, oh, wow. <laughs> Mimi's say. taking off on oh, us. That's funny. That, that's it, really? Yeah. But when I think back to my first group folks that are sticking with it, right? Yeah. yeah. What is Mark saying in his book? It's great. Jared Rich, he talks about, don't, if you're going to give it three <laughs> years, give it three years, <laughs> right? Three years. Give it three years. Commit. If you have the three years, this isn't moving the needle. Okay, look for something because, else. Not because, 18 months. Right. Not 19 months. Not 12 months. He told me that the first time I talked to him, he said three years. It's going to take you three years to replace the nut that you're currently having. And I thought, no. I'm, I work with data. I manage data. You're a data I, expert. I have people that build software. It's going to take me 18 months. I'm going to beat Scott. You know, but he was right. Yeah. He, he knows. It's tough he to knows. beat Scott. Scott's kind of a phenom. It's tough to beat him. I know. And but it's a good business. goal because you know what? If you shoot for that goal and you come a little short, you're That's still it. making big success. And having my, my freedom, right? Yeah. Uh, so I just nice. heard this. Let freedom ring. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> She just said, let freedom ring. <laughs> Cheers. Awesome. Cheers. Mimi, thank you for thank being you on that show. Second well, time. Really first time second live, time, though. Time. Oh, no. Second time live. But first Here. first time in person. Yes. First time in person, yeah. Orlando? Well, of course you. Uh, she can be uh, you want to see Mimi Smith in person? Come to Orlando. All right. Thanks, awesome. guys. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, all right. So I want to ask you. Yes. And then you can ask me the biggest your biggest piece of advice. Biggest piece of advice for when you for start beginning is, is keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't get shiny objects in there. The problem people have is they get the toolkit and they work on that. And toolkit, there's no information gap. It's an execution gap. And what happens is that these people get a little frustrated and then they and then they stop. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep moving forward. How about yourself? What's the best advice? So my biggest piece of advice is if you measure your progress day by day, you're going to drive yourself crazy. Day by day. That's not what I said. What's a day? day? That's not what I said at all. You said You're, it for day. That's not true. What, say this word. C-H-E-A-T-E-R. Say that for me. Cheetah? Cheetah. cheetah. Yeah. Cheetah. Who doesn't say cheetah? No, Can I get back to my point? He's getting back to his point. Day by day. If you, me if you measure your progress day by day, you will drive yourself crazy. You will think you are not making any gains in this business. Right. It's too right? short term. It's too short term. It's what I tell my patients all the time. Right? Short term. Yeah, that's a great word. You got to look at your journey. You got to you got to ask yourself. You know, if you're frustrated, if you feel like you're not moving forward, you got to ask yourself, Scott, am I better now than I was a month ago? I am. If your answer is yes, yes. you're moving in the right direction. Don't stop believing. Is that journey? You said journey. That's, that's it. Is that journey? That's journey. Don't yeah. stop believing. <laughs> you're mocking me. I'm not mocking you. All right, let's bring in. Here's before, the refill segment. Before our last guest, before our last, let's bring in our wives real quick. We want to have a shout out to our wives. Come on in here. The lovely Laura and Erin. Erin, hello. You're going to sit by me even though you're his wife? Yeah, this Where is not Scott's wife. This is my wife. No, don't go this way. Go around. 
This is not tip the chair over. Laura, why don't you just sit on his lap? So this is the magic behind the Land Geek guys. My wife Laura, Scott's wife Erin. We just want to say thank you in a public forum because not only are they beautiful, they're inspiring, and they help us so much. Not just by picking out their clothes. I love you. <laughs> we pick out their clothes, don't we, Laura? That was really touching. High five. Thank you, Mike. That was really sweet. Oh, All right, we're out of here. Well, you, guys right. are, you guys are the rock. Uh, thank you both. And oh. you're both. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you can let me talk? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Seriously, though. Mike, seriously, you talk too much. I do. You over talk. I over talk. You over talk. You guys, <laughs> Not no, talk. no, no. You guys, you guys are the rock in our lives, the foundation in our lives. And I mean, you're both. You're both doing the business and doing amazing, and we love you. So there you go. We love you guys. Aww. That was super sweet. Oh, this was better than mine. No, you should stop talking. You wanted to be romantic. She didn't. I wanted to be romantic. He didn't. Let's trade partners for you. So for our final guest of the night, who are we missing? We've had everybody. No, we haven't. The wind beneath our wings. The wind beneath our wings. The guy who makes it all possible. The drill sergeant, in a sense, is no mini back tonight. Scott Todd, oh, guys. Cheers. Oh, oh, high five, here he is. High five. Nice to see you. Hey, everybody. Hey, it's Scott Todd. Here he is. What's going on? Oh, this has been a great show. We've had all of the people that are important in our community. On. It's fitting that we have you at the end because although this is the end, you're the beginning of most people's journey. Yeah, it's it's cool because you know it's it's so fun to meet everybody through flight school, and a lot of times we'll do flight school, and I won't meet them, but like I will be on the screen just like this. I'm on the screen with them, and then we show up to flight school, and guess what? Or to boot camp, and guess what? They're here. They're like here, and I get to meet them for the first time a lot of times in, uh, here at boot camp. It's really kind of cool. They they come up to me and they're like, hey, I. I watch you on screen every Tuesday night or every Thursday night or whenever it is. And it's really cool to put faces in everybody. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it's got to be cool for you because I don't think you realize the impact that you have on these people right. as they're going through this process. Right. Like, you know, you I had that you had that impact on me as well, going through one on one coaching. Like you are you are the Sherpa that Mark talks about. You're the master Yoda, you're the mentor that just makes such a difference in people's lives. And I, I seriously have to thank you for that. No yeah. problem, my pleasure. Could have been better said. So, someone just literally asked me right over here. They said, they said, why why do this? Why teach this? Like, aren't you gonna run out of, uh, aren't you gonna run out of land? Aren't Good you question. gonna run out yeah. of this stuff? And the reality is, and my, my answer was, look, why am I doing this? One, Mark, Mark is on a mission, whether you know Mark or not, Mark is on a mission because he did this business and you know he found success he wrote about this in in the book dirt rich he wrote about his success but there was something missing like he wasn't giving back to anybody he was he really wanted to be the pebble in the pond right like and he talks about that like the pebble in the pond and for me in my life he was the pebble he made a big difference to me and you know i always i always said to myself like man if i can get there then I will give back. I will help Mark with his mission. And so when I'm here at flight school or uh, boot camp, when I'm here, I'm trying to help him give back to be that pebble in the pond. Uh, and I think that that's why you guys are here too. You know, like the, the coaches that are here, they're all here volunteering their time and talents because they want to help Mark on their on his mission, which is to, to change lives. Yeah. And then, you know, so that's why we do it. And then is there enough for everybody? Man, there's so much land in this country. There's so much land just in one county. My number one county is two and a half million acres. Yeah. And I work in 50,000 of those acres. Right. So I can't even possibly buy them all. In, in, in all this time, I've only done, I've done six, uh, 600 deals, over 600 deals. But that said, the reality is, is that you can't utilize all of this stuff. You know, like you can't utilize all the land. I can't buy it all in this one area. So it is what it is. I mean, there's going to be people that are going to do it, but it's really a difference between mindset, abundance, and scarcity. Oops. It's mentality. You see, it's mindset has a big part of all this uh, process, right? You're right. We talk about that a lot, right? I mean, uh, you got to have the process, but then you got to the mental jump that you, you know that you have to get out of there. So mindset's huge. It's 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 every number, right? Like it's the number one thing. And I think that that's really what um, 
That's what we try to change even like in the VIP coaching room here at, at boot camp. Right. All of the coaching students, they go into a VIP room. And we start off today with all about, today was all about mindset. You know, like we talked about, um, we talked about changing the mindset behind how you even hire people to do work for you and why people don't do it. It's really, really great modules that I can tell you that there's one person who literally she, she, decided right there in the room that she was going to get rid of all her social media on her phone so that she could focus on her land and uh, business instead of spending time on Facebook. And look, I'm not telling you guys to unsubscribe from Facebook. Uh, no, because we're on Facebook stay, right stay, stay, now. Stay, stay, stay. <laughs> but that said, if you find that there's things on Facebook that are not value added, get out of it because the only person profiting from Facebook is Mark Zuckerberg. Put profits in your own pocket. Focus on you and your business, but keep watching this show. <laughs> yeah, this show. Exactly. We're going to ask you what we've asked everybody else, yeah. Scott. All right, so we've asked all the coaches, what is your number one piece of advice for a new land investor? Number, number one, one thing you could tell somebody. The number one say. thing that you need to do, without a doubt, and this is, this is a little bit different, is... I'm not going to say you need to mail. That's not it. I'm going to tell you that you need to believe in yourself and you can believe that you can do it because the minute that you believe you can do it, you can transform your life. You can do it. You can create the life that you want. It takes belief in yourself. Is that another journey song? Don't stop believing? Don't stop. Yeah, we it's the same journey. one as earlier. It's the same one? Wasn't it? I don't know. I think so, yes. <laughs> wow. <look at> <laughs> All right, guys. This is amazing. I, I think it's only one way to end the show with that. We do your favorite expression. Should we do it? Okay. On the count of three. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three. Let freedom ring. Where's <laughs> the outro? Thank you. It's time to cue the outro. Let me, you guys talk amongst yourselves while I cue the outro. I, I want to see how you guys do this. You guys are like really. This is the second time you've made me cry. People are crying. Oh, people yeah. are crying here. Babies are crying. What did I do? It's I the know, outro. Here it is. Now you just get to do the audio.